people are walking past the car. It's awkward. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Monday. It is the 12th day of Vlogmas. We are almost halfway through. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh dear. I've just arrived at work. It was a beautiful drive down today. The sun was just stunning. It is a little bit cool this morning. Um, yeah, it's not actually super cold. It says it's 13 degrees Celsius at the moment, which for this time of year is actually very cool for this part of the world. But it's just been that kind of awkward season. So yes, I have arrived at work. I probably won't get a chance to do any knitting at lunchtime today. I've got some plans with some old colleagues, which is wonderful. But I did manage before I left this morning to finish one of my stripes for my Cozy Knitter Advent skein. And there it is. So one of the socks is ready for day 13. And I just have one more to go, which I'll probably just get done this evening when I get home from work. Um, unless, of course, plans change. Which we're meeting up with three other people that all have different, different roles, different um, teams that they work in now. We used to all be part of one team and now we're sort of separated and split up. So yes, different priorities. <laughs> so um, that sometimes means that even when we make plans, they don't always eventuate, which that would be a shame. I haven't seen everyone together for a little while. So yeah, fingers crossed lunch plans go ahead. Otherwise, just another work day. Um, it should be relatively a quiet one, which is weird at this time of year for me. I'm used to this time of year being like the busiest time. But this new role is a little bit flipped in that we do a lot of planning and a lot of preparation. And that kind of calms down by around November. It doesn't really calm down, but the bulk of it is sort of finalized by then. And then it's, um, yeah, just sort of tidying up and getting prepared for the next year which is a very different different sort of situation than I'm used to, <laughs> which is why I can take a little bit of extra leave this year. Normally in my previous roles, my last two roles, that has not been an option. This has been the busiest time of year for me. So yes, as people keep walking past and making me feel very awkward about talking to my camera in the car, I might sign off there and I'll check in with you when I get home. I hope you're having a great start to the day.
fast today actually went it's already getting dark out there which feels a little surreal but it is quarter to 8 p.m. So, yeah I shouldn't be surprised that it's as late as it is but the evening has gone very very fast so I just thought I'd check in with you quickly um, I finished knitting on my advent socks for today so today's stripe was the green one and I'm actually thinking, because we're halfway through now, halfway through, it's day 12. What? Halfway through now. So in theory, um, I'm thinking I might need to maybe do a few extra stripes because I need to give myself time to do a couple of cut in heels and the toes as well on that last day. So I might try to do more than one stripe day over the next couple of days uh, because I don't like to do a forethought heel I do like to cut it in once the sock is done um, it's just sort of my preferred way to do it so yes we have 12 stripes at the moment 12 stripes to go but how pretty are the colors I don't know if this is picking it up accurately because obviously I've got artificial lighting on at the moment but I think they are so pretty Gorgeous, I love the colours this year. I love the colours every year, but these ones have this real light and bright feel to them that I'm really enjoying. So yeah, very, very pretty. 
So those are progressing, which is great. I uh, don't think I got much further on this one. No, I don't think I've picked it up since I spoke to you yesterday, but maybe didn't show you. So I finished the heel turn. Just need to pick up the gusset. And they are looking so good. Look at that. So this is Desert Vista Dye Works yarn in Metallic Holiday. This is a DK weight yarn and the DK weight base is actually called DK. <laughs> That's pretty clear. Her fingering weight base is called Viso, so I just assumed that this one might have a specific name, but no, it's just DK, which is great. And there are 245 yards in 100 grams. It is again a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And that's, I've squished it a little bit, but that is the Desert Vista Dye Works tag. I'm trying to think, should I participate in this knit along again next year? I've done it. This will be my second, well, this is my second year. And this will be my 24th pair. No, that's not right. I did knit a hat one month this year. So 23rd pair plus a hat. But 23rd skein of yarn that I have. Well, that's not true either because I did a monster sock this year. <laughs> either way, this will be the 24th month participating in the Desert Vista Dye Works monthly sock club. <laughs> this year is the eighth annual Desert Vista Dye Works monthly sock club. If you've watched my podcast, um, you may have seen me stumble over that for the last two years. <laughs> so yes, I finally think I might have it right. It's probably still wrong. So yeah, that's um, coming along nicely. Uh, not much more knitting than that. Um, I'm wondering, I should probably show you my Stephen West Twist and Turns project when it's not so dark. Maybe see if See if I should bind off. I'm pretty much ready to bind off, I think. But I still have so much yarn left. There's a good 100 grams of just the main color and contrast color combined left, more. I think it's about 60 and maybe 120 grams. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I probably shouldn't make a decision on that tonight. But one thing I do really want to do, I caught up on Crystal Knits Vlogmas this morning and last night and Crystal is one of the lovely friends who uh, we're doing the advent swap with the friends knitting friends advent swap um, yeah so she was the first six days now I've just done the next six days and tomorrow we get to start opening Maddie's calendar and then for the last six days it is Mel's so I'm very excited to open up tomorrow's and start seeing Maddie's colors emerge sort of see how we've all um, contributed to this advent but back to crystal's uh, vlogmas she has cast on i think it's the adventurous wrap or is it the adventuresome wrap amber o'brien releases an advent pattern pretty much every year i think and they're all designed generally to work with 24 minis for an advent calendar yarn advent calendar i'm just going to bring up the ravelry page because my brain is not really with it right now but she because they're all advent themed wrap oh, projects patterns she tends to use the word advent in them adventuresome or is it adventurous okay it's definitely not the adventuresome although this is a beautiful pattern as well so this is the Adventuresome and I'm actually thinking of using one of my older calendars which was a fade calendar to knit this one one day. <laughs> we shall see. Um, so yeah that, that pattern is on my radar but now I should be able to see Amber's other patterns. This is the Adventurous wrap and it is so pretty. I've been eyeing this pattern off for a few years as well and I would like to do this one too. Although I was thinking of using my Three Cats Yarn Advent Calendar for this one. And But Crystal from Crystal Knits, my dear friend, 
in Melbourne has cast uh, cast hers on using the Friends Advent Swap and she's currently I think on day seven the last episode I watched this morning she had just started joining the seventh colour in there and it's looking really pretty so now I'm torn <laughs> of course do I use the friend one and have a matching one with her or do I use the three cats yarn one yeah decisions are hard but my other thing is I've, I've mentioned it before like I cast on an advent project last year with my minis after opening up a few days and then I changed my mind once I saw more of the colours emerge. So maybe I should wait until I have all of the colours together but that means that I won't start any of these today. But I did mention that I have a couple of older advents that I have been eyeing off. Oh. I do have some beautiful old advents. So the first year I did Vlogmas, yeah, I think it was the first year I did Vlogmas, I bought the Ash and Oak Designs advent and that was a fade advent. And Monica of Ash and Oak Designs no longer dyes yarn, which is a real shame. She was a local dyer. Yeah, she was a local dyer, she's no longer dying. Um, and she was so talented. Every single colorway that came out of her pots was a stunner. I have quite a stash of her yarn around the place. Somewhere in these boxes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe maybe I could look at that adventuresome wrap. But that's a lot of lace. And at this point in time, lace is probably not ideal with where I'm at with life and unpacking and organizing the house so I'll have a think about that because I really do like that adventurous wrap it's garter stitch it's basically two triangles I think I think they're two triangles and then they're either grafted together or maybe their um, um, stitches are picked up and it's knit onto it I'm not 100% sure of the construction um, I have bought the pattern, I just haven't looked at it in great detail because I haven't been ready to cast it on. But yeah, something to think about, something that might happen once I'm on annual leave. That's the reality. While I'm at work it probably won't happen, so we're about a week away from annual leave. I have four days of work left, so not even a week. Four days. Four days. I'm so excited. I can't wait to be on the break again. Again. Yeah, again, I'm sure I've had breaks, just not in recent times. <sighs> I can't wait to be on a break. I'm really counting down the days at the moment. So there was something else I was going to mention to you. That's right. I um, uploaded day 10 yesterday because days seven to nine were so long, it was an hour after I had finished editing it, before editing, I think it was like an hour and a half of footage. But I take a lot of clips and then I will speed them up or cut bits out because, um, yeah, when I'm showing you me knitting, I usually take a couple of minutes of footage, but I'm not going to make you sit through a couple of minutes of one clip. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a great use of your time. <laughs> so I just give you the highlights and the fact that I'm, you know, sitting somewhere and knitting I think I like being able to share that and move on with the rest of the day so I am thinking of editing day 11 now today's day 12 obviously so it'll only put me another day behind but again I think I have about 45 minutes worth of footage just from yesterday yesterday was a busy day it would be interesting to see how long that ends up being once I finish editing it I think I can take it down to at least 30, maybe 20. <laughs> I guess you'll know because by the time you see this, that one will be posted. I don't think I'll be combining these together or those together, certainly not Sunday and today, but maybe today's will get combined with a couple of the weekdays if there's not a lot of content because I obviously haven't recorded much today while I've been at work, but yeah. Yes. Oh, big news. The coffee machine arrived. <laughs> you would have seen footage of that already. 
So that was exciting. We've tried our first coffee out of it and we were both very happy. Now it has a milk frother attachment, but I haven't set that up yet. It needs a clean in the dishwasher and we'll be running the dishwasher tonight. Um, but in reality, I have a lot of black coffee, so I don't need the milk frother on there all the time. And it's um, really not a necessity for me. I was just really keen to get a machine that matched <laughs> my kettle. And I really liked the look of that one. And I went into the Nespresso bar a few weeks, a few weeks, more than a few weeks, a month or so ago, and tried a sample coffee out of it and was really happy with the taste, with the quality. So, and the girl took me through all of the functions and the features, which was great. If you have an espresso bar and you're keen on an espresso machine at any point in time, and you're not sure which one you'd like, I do recommend going to your local Nespresso store where they can make you a coffee using the machine that you're interested in and help explain the different functions of that machine or the yeah functions I guess. Do definitely recommend that. So our old machine would just go into the shed for now. We'll definitely take it away camping with us. We've done that before. The small one is just so convenient and portable and it still works great. Um, it's been a very trusty little coffee machine. I would not be getting rid of that at all. So when we go camping, we'll usually take that with us and then we know we can have good coffee no matter where we are. Last year, you may recall if you've watched my episodes before, we went to the Northern Territory and it was really hard to find good coffee on the road in the middle of the outback. Any coffee place we went to was just one disappointment after the next. <laughs> it was very sad, but we had that machine with us. So we always knew that at least one coffee a day while we were at the campsite would be a tasty one. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling now. I've been talking for 15 minutes. Mad. Madness. Okay, this, this episode is going to be a long one. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, I will check in with you again tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will now make the call on do I shower and edit or do I shower and sit on the couch. I'll see how I feel. But it would be nice to get day 11 sorted. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful December, and I will talk to you again very soon. Mama. Mama. Oh, you think you're gonna kick him off? It's okay. You're on your bed. It's oh, okay. Look at that mush. <laughs> it's okay, you're on your bed. You're in your spot. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> well, he's not on the couch. <laughs>